What is going on everybody? It's your boy Atomic Yin here. And in today's episode, guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to get rounded corners on your webcam. If that sounds interesting, let's roll the intro. Alright guys, so if you want something for your live stream, something like this, where the actual corner bend around the webcam, um, I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. Uh, this is very popular um, with a lot of streamers these days, it is very clean and minimal, and uh, I think it looks really nice, I have it on my stream as well. If you guys want to check me out, it is at Atomic underscore Yin, linked down below. And uh, yeah, I stream every Monday, Thursday, Friday, so make sure you leave that a follow and check me out when I'm live uh, for any questions, like um, streaming related, anything I can help you with channel points, um, I'm there for you. But guys, first link in the description, um, uh, you'll be downloading OBS Shared Filter. Now, this is a, it's a plugin for OBS Studio, just a clarification you cannot do this on streamlabs obs this is just for obs studio um so yeah guys we're gonna get this downloaded and once that's downloaded guys what you're gonna do is you want to just open and you want to actually extract uh the shader filter so you want to press extract um, I've already done that guys, so um, just get it downloaded, it's absolutely safe, it's absolutely fine. What you want to do is you want to go to OBS Studio, and you'll see data and plugins. What you want to do is you want to just copy these files like this. If you don't know how to copy separate files, you just want to hover over data, and press Control on your PC, and click, and you'll click data, and then click OBS Plugins. What you want to do guys is you want to right click, you want to copy these two, and you want to scroll down to your Windows C Drive, um, you want to go to program files. If it's not in uh, program files, you want to go to um, program file, files 86. Uh, you are looking for your OBS folder. So you want to just open. Don't know why it locked me over. Uh, you just want to go on uh, program files. You want to scroll down to OBS Studio. You want to click that. And guys, in this list here, you just want to right click and paste. Um, it's telling me to replace my files because I already have them installed. Uh, so guys, get everything sorted, admi admi uh, administration, uh, just click yes, yes, and yes, and you are good to go. Once that is actually downloaded, guys, and everything is all set up with the shader filter, uh, you actually want to go onto the second link in the description, and you will come up to this GitHub folder. Now, guys, uh, this looks um, absolutely insane, and you're like, James, man, this is confusing. What are we doing? Well, I'll tell you, Daniel. All right, I'll tell you. You just want to right click. You want to go to save as. And there it is, rounded uh, rectangle uh, corner shader. If you guys have .txt, something like that, just get rid of that. You just want the rounded rect pair corner shader. Uh, what you can do is do text document to all files and you want to save it. You can save this anywhere. I've uh, Anywhere, I've got it saved to my downloads. So you guys, what you want to do is you want to open up your files. Uh, you'll see in downloads, uh, rounded rectangle corner shader. There it is. You want to uh, you want to right click that. You want to go to copy. You want to go in your C drive. You want to go to your program files or program files 86, wherever your OBS studio is. You want to go to your OBS studio. You want to go to your data, OBS plugins. And you're going to now find OBS Shader Filter. Now, we've just installed OBS Shader Filter. So, you are looking for OBS Shader Filter. You want to click that. You want to go to Examples. And uh, these are all your filters. Now, guys, if you're thinking, well, I don't even know what Shader Filter is. Um, this is a, a filter for your OBS. So, you can have it on top of your camera. We'll go into it, guys. We'll go into it. Uh, once you're in here, guys, in the examples, you want to right click and pressed paste and yet again you're just going to paste that into the the uh the examples folder um yeah like it says it says replace um i've already done it so get that installed click yes to everything everything's safe uh so yeah get that installed and what you guys want to do now is actually open up obs and there we go guys we're in obs so what you want to do now guys is actually go to your now guys you will see 
um, from the previous steps with Leoran board and setting up Punch Me in the Face, um, you should have your own camera scene. Uh, so make sure you apply the, uh, the effects to this actual scene here. Uh, for me, for the YouTube, um, I'm all the way down here. So what I'm going to do is this is my camera scene. Uh, so you just want to right click on your camera scene. You want to go to your filters. Uh, just to be clear, guys, uh, that you see scenes here. You want to do the filter to the actual scene, not the source. Okay. Now, I would be doing this on my camera scene. Uh, but for this YouTube video, I'm just going to be doing it on my YouTube scene. But it's actually my camera scene within a nested scene. It's so confusing. Oh, my God. But you want to do it on the scene, not the source. Okay. So, you want to right click on your scene. You want to go to filters. Oh, there I am. Hello. Um, and you want to go to your plus and you want to add a filter. Now, these are all my filters and you see here or you should see user defined shader. Now, if you have not, if you do not see user defined shader, that means you haven't installed uh, the plugin properly. So make sure you go back in the video, follow the steps and get it installed. If it's still not there, um, reload OBS or turn your PC off and back on, on again and it should be working. So guys, once you've got it installed, just want to go and use the defined shader and you can actually call this guys. Uh, let's call it rounded, uh, rounded corners and um, press OK. And uh, you will see a little thing here, just say like extra pixels, things like that. What you want to do is you want to go to load shader from text. Uh, you want to click browse because now you're browsing for your actual shader guys. So now what you want to do is you want to scroll down. These are all the list of the examples, by the way. So you want to scroll down until you see uh, rounded rec per corner shader. That's the one we installed. Uh, so you want to click that. You want to press OK. And you will see your camera back up. We can see each other on the, uh, on the recording. Yes, we can. Uh, and this is it, guys. This is it all download. Now, if you scroll down, and you will see a corner radius uh, t uh, TR and everything like this. This is how you change the actual corners itself. I probably should have used uh, my actual, just a normal blocked camera for this. I do apologize. So for example, guys, with the first box radius, if you go to it's 100, you will see that it's starting to actual crop um, the source itself. So you can bring it down to like 1,200. Uh, obviously it's not recommended. Um, it's a bit awkward with this camera, guys, just because uh, I've already got it all sorted. So um, I do apologize. But I think if you do it to 50, you can cut the corners in. If you do this one to, I don't know, 70. So you can have like some really cool effects. If you play with it too much, like for example, you do like seven. Oh my God, what is this? Yeah, <laughs> that's wrong. Yo, can someone have like um, a webcam like this? This would be the greatest webcam in the world. That's kind of cool, actually. Uh, but you guys can have like a nice little plur, see what works for you. You can remove things, remove them all different directions. You can have a real good just play around with everything. And once you're actually done, guys, uh, you can actually do the thickness of the border as well. Uh, so for example, you could do it to 50 like this, and it's got like a nice glow. And then what you can actually do, guys, is if you select color, you've got this nice little color uh, wheel. So you can do it to any color you want. You can do it to red. And now it's red. So you guys don't actually have to, you know, hire hire an artist on Fiverr to get, you know, your own custom borders. You guys, we can have this nice little um, cornered webcam. Whatever you can do, you can play around with absolutely all of these different buttons and just have a play around with everything. See what works for you. And uh, change the color to however you want it. So it's a really cool little effect. And I seriously really love this. It looks awesome. If you play around with it too much, it will kind of lag your stream a little bit so probably don't do too high of a numbers but if you want nice little simple uh, corners on your webcam that is how you do it my friends guys don't know how long this video was hopefully the steps were easy to understand um i just want to say thank you um for the love and support we have actually reached over 110 subscribers so woo 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 uh, you're absolutely smashing it guys uh, leave us a like and a comment any issues at all please let me know in the comment section down below uh, like i said guys i stream every monday thursday and friday over on twitch linked here and guys like always hit that subscribe button and hit that bell right there 
and uh, stay in touch with the channel in the future tutorials that we will be doing. Uh, guys, I love you all. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.